Now there's another number we haven't put in yet. That was the number that you were thinking about from part A. The oh, diameter the of the eye. What distance is that from? So it's from the, the diameter of the eye. So that's from where to where? It's this. Ah. Now, yeah, that, that actually seems like a good, uh, you would think that. Well, for one thing, of course, the eye is round. So the diameter is the same either way. But what we care about is this distance. The diameter of the eye would be from oh, the front of the eye to the back. The thing, right? Yeah, I've drawn it with a flat retina because somehow that's easier for me to think that through. But here would be the diameter of the 2.5 centimeters. Now, we're, what we're struggling with is putting in something for S prime. That is, we want to know where do we want the image to be? Well, where do we want the image? Remember that this person can actually see well at this near point. They can see well, so where's the image? Um, at 22 plus 2.5. Uh, let's see. Well, what, what point to where we want the image to be in the picture? Where do we want the image to form? We want the image to form on the retina. Yeah, the whole point of clear vision is we want the image to form on the retina. So we want the image to be over here. Yeah, so now, what is the S prime going to be? Is it not 22 plus 2.5? Now, S prime is the distance between what and what? Is it between just, in, just in general terms. What's S prime the distance between? What's the definition of S prime? It's the image distance, right? Yeah, but it's the image's the, distance from whom? Is it not from the... Uh, it's from it's the, the, the image's lens. distance from the lens or mirror, right? Uh, yeah. Whenever we draw in our pictures, if we drew a picture like this, we always said S prime is this distance, right? Yeah, yeah. We didn't say S prime was the distance between here and here. S prime is, uh, so we should have defined these terms better. F is how far the focal point is from the lens or mirror. Yeah. S is how far the object is from the lens or mirror. And S prime is how far the image is from the lens or mirror. It's not how far the image is from the object. Okay. Yeah, we never really quite uh, uh, clarified that. Okay. So, so, yeah, what would S prime be? 2 or 5. Okay. So 1 over F equals 1 over 25 plus 1 over 2 over F. And then just all that. Okay. Now, something should be worrying oh, you. Is there, is there you didn't put in... Is there a sign? Yeah. Do, do we usually put a sign on an on image distance? Yeah. Yeah, because it could be... What, what does the sign represent? It's virtual or real. Yeah, so we should always try to put a sign in here. All right, let me just help you to see uh, which one it should be. Well, where do we want the image to form? On the retina. Yeah, so would that be real or virtual? It's the same. Oh, it's the same. It's a lens. It's the opposite side of the outgoing, of the incoming light, of the, out, of the outgoing light. So first of all, remind me, what's the definition of a real image? If the light converges on the same side as the outgoing light. As the outgoing light. Yeah. So we really shouldn't be quite thinking about the incoming light. Yeah. Our definition is that a real image is on the same side as the outgoing light. And what was our definition of a virtual image? It's on the opposite side. Yeah, on the opposite side of a uh, outgoing uh, light. Um, okay, well then how does that apply here? So it's real. Because? Because it's a lens, so the outgoing light goes through it, and then it, the image looks Yeah, it's always good to use the term. That's right, that's good. It's always good that you just use the words right and left. So which side is the image on based on the lens, right or left? Right. And which side is the outgoing light on? Right. Yeah, that just repeat myself. Anyway, the outgoing light would be on the right here, and the image would also be on the right, because the light... Here's the outgoing light, and here's the image. So you can see that the, the eyeball always gives you a, a real image, because it's supposed to be putting the image on the retina, or at least close to the retina. All right, so in this case, this would be plus 2.5. Okay. And then the focal. And then at the maximum tension, so we're going to go around. Is the focal point, um, so it's a converging lens, so the focal point's positive. Well, that's true. Um, let's see. How, yeah, so we should just have memorized that the, the lens of the eye is a converging lens. However, you don't actually need that because we can just solve this algebraically now. Yeah. That's just going to be a check on our work. We're going to see from the math whether f comes out to be positive or negative, but we know ahead of time it has to be positive. So I make this 125 plus, so I can make this 10 over 25? Yep, that's right. So I can get... Um, Well, wait, uh, 
This was a 22, right? Oh, 22. Oh, you might want to fix your picture here. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, they can see as close as 22 centimeters. Remember, the normal near point is 25 centimeters, but this person can see as close as 22 centimeters. Oh, so this is hard to math. Do you get to use a calculator? No. Oh, no? Okay, yeah. so let's crank through that. Maybe they did in oh. past years. Yeah, I don't think you would expect you to do this without a calculator. Oh, it's not that hard, but uh, let, let's use a calculator. You could do it without the calculator on your own. So let's look at the uh, notebooks, handwritten note sheets. I know we didn't get a calculator this year. He doesn't say you can't use a calculator on this test, so. And then one over answer. Right. Push it two point two. Okay, yeah, that's what you got. Uh, so in the relaxed state, so it's the same thing. Um, so in the relaxed state, it's um, the far up to use the 400. Yeah, we know that the maximum tension is when you're seeing the object as near as possible. So uh, the relaxed state. Now that we're in the relaxed state, it must be uh, as far away as possible. That's so that's 400. So then we're at, which is 100, 400, plus 100, plus 100. One over uh, 2.5, positive or negative? Positive, because of that real image again. It's always going to be in the habit of putting in the, the sign for the focal length and the image distance. But with, when you're wearing glasses, you're seeing uh, a virtual image? Well, there's two different things. There's the image formed by the glasses, and there's the image formed by the lens of the eye. We know that the image from the lens of the eye has to be real, because it's on the retina over here. Now, the image formed by the glasses um, is a separate thing. Um, the image that's formed by the glasses, uh, turns out, will always be virtual. Oh, because the light that's coming into your glasses, the outgoing light is inside of it, the image is outside of it. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. So, you're, um, e um, as a rough way of thinking about it, yeah, the light is coming inside your glasses, but you're seeing the image outside of your glasses. So the image is on the opposite side of the outgoing light. It's maybe a little more complicated than that, but maybe uh, we'll probably get a chance in a future session to do a glasses problem, then we can go over that. So roughly then your, your lens of your eye is seeing a virtual image. That it, that's right. It, it's seeing a virtual like, object. But that, that's well, remember that that image, um, that virtual image becomes the object for that lens. Yeah. That's right. Okay. okay. That's it. So is this one you You doing the calculation? Yep, that's right. How do you get the wrong one? I'm sorry, what were you saying? Did you get 2.48? Oh, so write down what you've gotten so far. Oh, and then divide it. Yeah. So you thought that was, you thought this was the focal length, right? Yeah. It's always safest to work vertically and keep writing both sides of the equation down. You can see this is an easy mistake to make on the exam to forget to take this last reciprocal. We saw that when we were working with the resistor formulas in parallel, so it's better to write the whole equation down. Yeah. So we got again positive point four zero two five. All right, we can do part three.
a smaller foam. So for um, when the maximum tension. How do you know? Um, so the smaller F. Yeah, we talked before that um, does F measure roundness or flatness? Did we talk about that? Maybe not. I don't, we talked about like it was we talked about whether R measured roundness, yeah, roundness yeah. or flatness. Yeah. Yeah. So what did we say? Did R me measure roundness or flatness? I guess roundness or flatness. Well, with a bigger, a really big R makes you flat. Yeah, that's right. Okay, and you know that for a mirror, R and F move together. Yeah. You can't use this for a lens, but even for a lens, R uh, a bigger R means a bigger F. As we talked about like a flat, a, a flat mirror, the R is a bit. Yeah, that's right. 